taking this off right here. Okay, so Josh, if you're changing your oil filter, this is a number eight. So I'm just gonna loosen these up. I got a drain pan underneath it. Uh, loosen them, loosen them, number eight. So we're gonna pull that off. That's one, obviously. And then two. And three. I don't know if it's going to leak a little or not, but maybe it won't. Maybe we'll have to clean it. So that's three. I'm going to pull that off. And there it comes out. And you can see there's a seal around that. Can you see that? Okay. See the seal? Okay. Yeah. We're going to take that over to the table here in a minute. We'll put that there. We'll pull this out. Got it. And we'll notice that the rubber seal right here fits this right here. And Got that it. goes to the inside. Got it. Okay? Mm-hmm. All right. So we're going to go over to the table now with it. Okay. And when I look in here, we do find some soot. So. Got you. All right. Here's the one we just took off. As you can see it, this has the seal around it, the plastic seal. You can see it's black. Got a rubber boot. That's where that plastic seal is going to sit. So it'll go like that to the outside, and that goes on the inside. Okay? Now we got this new one, and since it brought us a new seal, we're going to replace the seal here. So I'm going to grab a screwdriver. I'll be right back for all this. I needed a big screwdriver for this. I'm going to get that screwdriver underneath there. Pop that seal out. Yeah. And get my finger underneath it. There we go. Pull that seal off. Take this new seal. Slide it back on. It's got plenty of oil in it. There we go. Mm -hmm. We're going to clean all that out some. That reservoir, clean that out. There we go. We got the new seal. Goes right on there. We're going to go replace that. There's the old one. Goes into there. Let's go. Follow me, right? Okay. <laughs> I'm going to clean this out here, clean out any debris in here, make it pretty because we're changing the oil. So we just drain the oil and it had the synthetic in it if you remember. Uh huh, uh huh. And we're just going to go right around like that, clean that up. Okay. Ooh. The hole, the indention part, Got that's it. what goes in towards the motor. Okay. So I'm going to turn that around, slide that in there like that, and I kind of pop that on there so the seal goes on. We're going to put these back together like that. And so I'm going to upload this video for you on your oil change so you always know. And by the way, the bolt underneath the size to drain your oil is a number 17 to drain your oil plug that's directly underneath. So it's in that hole. And then these are number eight. So we'll just screw them on here with this. We got it, we got it, we got it, we got it. New filter. Take our little thing. We're just gonna snug these up because it has a seal and we don't wanna... No. We don't need to mess with the seal. This 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 uh, is a POS, and I'm just gonna snug that one up a little bit, get that one a little bit, and then I'm gonna snug, snug, and snug. And that's it, Bubby Boo. There you go. You turned off the black button. Yep.
when you check your oil in this thing and you unscrew it just so you know and we're gonna look it should be between the upper mark and the lower mark uh, if I could see it real well but there are two marks there yeah it should be between the upper and when you check the oil <clears throat> you're supposed to leave it unscrewed you don't screw it in and check it you put it in unscrewed put it in like that pull it out check it so anyway little piece of information because I wasn't sure if you're supposed to screw it all the way down or don't screw it down and when I looked in your book it says right here number five insert the oil filler cap ditch stick without screwing it in then remove the oil filler cap the oil level should be between the upper level mark and the lower level mark. <clears throat> anyway, there you go.